don't wanna be carrying the weight on my shoulders. Melanie Martinez meets Kermit the Frog. Death is gone to me. Genius, Peggy. Back from the dead, back from the dead. I'm back from the dead. Y'all were acting like I was dead. I hadn't posted a Melanie video in like two weeks and I almost got beheaded. <sighs> Nymphology. Strawberry sorbet. Or is it strawberry sorbet? Fairy soiree, something like that. Basically, hello crybabies, welcome to the channel. Thank you for watching, make sure you like the video. We've got a lot of snippets that we have not reacted to yet off the album. And I was starting to think like, we're literally about to get the album in three days. Do I wanna keep listening to all these snippets? Cause at this point I've listened, I feel like to half the album and I wanna like, I don't know, my first listen, that's the whole reason I left the listening party early is because I want my first listen to really be like the time that I dive into the music and can just absorb it all. And I feel like as we do more and more of these snippet reactions, it's kind of like, how do you describe it? Like the first time you hear something or taste something or do something like that you find so, so, so special. Like, I don't want it to be watered down, I guess is what I was thinking, but whatever. Y'all are harassing me and you want the video, so you're gonna get it. Um, Nymphology, Melly Martinez, The Portals. This person leaked it from the listening party. You're a bastard. Um, so no, I'm not giving them views. They have 80,000 views on that video from leaking it. I hate when y'all do that. But next up, let's do this snippet. It says Melly Martinez, Siren slash Nymphology, Portals official. Wait. Because I remember that little thing. That's whenever she released the track list on her website. Wait! Sirens? No. I thought she scrapped Sirens. That's my favorite leaked song that y'all have stolen from her. No, no lie. But I, I, is it on the album? Wait, maybe, okay. It, it's looking like maybe Nymphology is Siren. So let's just, where's a Nymphology snippet? Let's just do Nymphology. Now I'm hype if it is. No, 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 no. Lollapalooza is gonna get copyrighted. Let's, where's, oh, we have to do the contortionist too. Oh, oh, okay, I'm struggling. One sec, let me find a clip and then we'll play. Okay, I found one, here we go. Let's play it, are you ready? Are you ready? Have you liked the video yet? And have you seen my last two videos? I tried on ta uh, Taylor Swift Eras 2 outfits. You didn't watch them, I know. Fake fan. But yeah, let's get into this though. Yeah, it's a bop. That instrumental, the, the bounciness, the vibe. It's like Melanie just knows how to do pop music and like make it weird and indie and like grungy, but it's still like a fairy bad bitch vibe, you know? Like you can, I don't know. She just, she's she's so good. I love her music. It's mythology, not psychology. Excuse me, bitch. She said range. Nymphology. We're in a womb. That's cry the new crybaby in a womb. I can tell by the ears. And the four eyes. But here she has legs. Whereas in the death music video, it looked like stretchy Laffy Taffy were her legs. So what's the story? So we've opened up the album with the first single, Death, where it's like they were, her friends from K through 12 were burying her as bunnies. And then she came back from the dead as Crybaby, but not Melanie. She wasn't Melanie when she, she arose. She came back as Crybaby. And so now maybe when we go through the portal, it's going to show her formation and like life. I feel like we're going forward in time and back in time. Cause how are we in a womb? There's other people in here with her. Am I tripping or is that a hand? That's another hand. 
Cannibalism, she ate her twin. Katarina? No, 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 no. What song is it where she's like, I was in the womb until my mom changed her mind? Trying to feel the mystical into the material. And I'm in the life path, I'm ethereal. I'm the definition of dichotomy, duality. Katarina, and then the womb for nine months till she birthed me. Melanie ate Katarina. Confirmed. Yeah? Am I tripping? Probably. Whatever. You can't even spell the what? The urine. Can't even spell the urine extra in mythology. You can't even. I don't get it, but I'm vibing. NYMP. Oh, and then she goes on to spell NYMPH OLOGY. No, nymphology is going to be a bot for sure. Like 100%. That beat. If Jack Antonoff touches it, it's a masterpiece. So I, I really want to see who the producers also are on the album. Like, it's a bop. Next up, we've got The Contortionist. That is another one y'all have been begging for. Like, Crybaby? Yeah. She's a menace now. I mean, also, I'm happy for her and I'm happy for Melanie because she's like, the old Melanie's dead. I'm doing what I want. Ugh. Because if you think back, people gonna say, if you need a break, someone will take your place. Recess was such a sad vibe. And though I feel like the contortionist is the same message, but this one is like, there's strength behind it. Like there's power. Like she doesn't feel helpless anymore. It's exciting, but also a little bit scary. Not gonna lie. And the last step for this video, light shower. Let's get into it. I honestly, I don't think there's a skip so far on the album. Hold your bitch ass horses. I'm screaming like a cattle on a stove. I was cold. My Is it just me or low key, SZA and Melanie Martinez would make a great collab? Like the the more slower melodies. And their voices and like just the way that the tone, the passion, the emotion they have in the songs, I feel like they would just really mesh very well together. Like especially um, SZA's SOS album, like that would that matches so good with Melanie right now with the song. I was cold, my past around my heart. Wait, 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 wait. Is this the one about ripping my limbs off and my intestines? Heart. Heart. Like I just have fun with it. My All my pain, all my sadness disappeared. And she said, I'm not used to all this love. You make me want to plan out my last days on. What the? You make me want to, what? You make me want to plan out my last days on earth. Is that what she's about to say? And also Melanie, I can tell that's you with that dual hairstyle, the blonde and the brown. But what? You make me want to plan out my last day? Stays on earth eating you. Eating you? Are we talking cannibalism or is that bitch a munch? Two very different things. One I co-sign, one will get you put in prison. Okay, okay, okay. The light show, I thought, it, I don't know what I was thinking. I thought it was about to be just like zoom, like extra bass and um, I don't know, synth noises and just like light beam sounds, whatever that means. Um, but it's more of a slower song and just about like passion and love, I guess, which is a nice, I think, switch up and contrast to the other songs we've been hearing from the album. And I don't think, at least from what we've seen so far, Light Shower kind of stands out to me as not being such a big piece in the story of Crybaby or like the 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 transitional phase she's going through. But I think it's a nice song still to have. I don't know how it's going to um, help the story progress with Crybaby, 
which is a big part of also what I want to do with this album. Like, of course, the music and the album itself, but the story and the like movie aspect of it is also like interesting, too. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like and I will see you in a couple days with the album reaction.